हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट लंग वॉल्यूम्स लंग वॉल्यूम्स टोटल लंग कैपेसिटी फर्स्ट स्पाइरोमेट्री इन द स्पाइरोमेट्री फर्स्ट वी विल आस्क द पर्सन टू 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 इंस्पायर एंड एक्सपायर with his normal uh, values and then we will ask the person to maximally inspire then when he maximally inspire the inspiratory volume that he gets extra is this inspiratory capacity and then he exhales maximally and then he again uh, takes the respiration normally this normal respiration without any forced respiration normal voluntary or involuntary respiration which the patient takes is tidal volume this extra when the when you ask the patient to inspire deeply then the extra volume of air that he takes is inspiratory reserve volume if you ask the person to expire forcefully then the extra amount of air that he takes is expiratory reserve volume then total lung capacity first vital capacity vital capacity is the inspiratory reserve volume tidal volume plus expiratory reserve volume complete totally we call it has vital capacity even after expiration there will be some amount of air that is left in the lungs so that amount of air which is left in the lungs is called has residual volume so total lung volume is the total amount of air that can be present in the lungs that is inspiratory reserve volume plus tidal volume plus expiratory reserve volume plus uh, residual volume is the total lung capacity so total lung capacity is the volume of air that is present after the maximum inspiration after maximum inspiration if you ask the person to take maximum inspiration after maximum inspiration the amount of air that the patient can have in his lungs is tidal volume then sorry is total lung capacity then residual volume residual volume is the amount of air that is present uh, in the patient after maximum expiration that is if you ask the person to take maximum expiration and after maximum expiration he will be ex uh, exhaling the inspiratory reserve volume will be gone tidal volume and expiratory reserve volume all this gas is expired but only the the volume that is left in the lungs after forceful expiration is nothing but residual volume so residual volume is the volume that we get after maximum expiration then total uh, vital capacity vital capacity is the volume that is exhaled from the lungs and that, and that is from tidal volume to residual volume this volume which is exhaled from the lungs is called as vital capacity so total lung capacity and this vital capacity are very, not vital capacity total lung capacity and the residual volume are very important to distinguish between the obstructive pattern and the restrictive pattern for obstructive pattern and restrictive pattern of diseases in order to distinguish them total lung capacity and residual volume is important then thank you and thank you for watching